So to write the column space of this matrix, what we will first do is we will convert the matrix into the echelon form using our row operations. And when you use your row operations for this matrix, you will get that the echelon form after row reductions will turn up to be 1, 2, 0, 2, 5. 0, 1, minus 1, minus 3, minus 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and last row will become completely 0. So this is the echelon form. After row reductions, you will be able to compute this as your echelon form. Now what we will do in this echelon form, we will find out which entries are the leading entries. Now. When I hit the arrow from here, I understand that the arrow hits the first position. So I'll write first position is leading. Then second position is also leading. And the fourth position is leading. So these are the three leading positions. So I will now go to the original matrix and I will look at the first, second and the fourth column. I will look at the first, second and the fourth column in the original matrix. We write first, second and fourth column of original matrix, the given matrix. So I'll go up and just see what is the first column. The first column is 1, 2, 0, 1, minus 2, 0, 3. The second column is 2, minus 5, minus 3, 6. And the fourth column is 2, minus 1, 4, and Minus seven. These three columns form the basis for the column space. So the basis for column space consists of three people. First person is the first column was one minus two, zero and three. The second person was 2, minus 5, minus 3, 6. And the fourth column from the original matrix A was 2, minus 1, 4, and 7. And what is the dimension of the column space? The dimension of column space is how much? Is Three. This is the way you calculate the basis for column space and the dimension of the column space.